What's going on guys, I'm Jurassic Scuba and we are on part 9 of Dragon Age Odyssey's playthrough Road to Inquisition and we have just finished the Tower of Ishao and we have just spoken to Morrigan, her mother's just saved us for the tower this should be easy enough. after getting attacked with Darkspawn and a cutscene because we clearly couldn't defend ourselves but whatever, here we go, we've gone outside, everybody's right. dead, King's dead, Duncan's dead, everybody's gone, Logan fucked off, abandoned this so he's a traitor but he's got a kid on here isn't he? and that's how it plays out so here we go into this conversation. It's conversation after conversation, but I like it. That's what See, I like about this game. It's all story. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? <clears throat> the land is hardly united, thanks to Logan. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Uh, what could the town hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Al Eamon? No, of Redcliffe? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are a lot of allies we could call upon. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old. But dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I'd be happy with just staying alive. Hmm, come to think of it, that would be nice. Well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well. We'll take our with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. 
Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. She won't come to harm with us. Allow me to get my things, if you please. <coughs> I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. No, I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. I think we should just get on the way. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Oh, we will. We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, Morrigan approves eh? Alistair approves four. That's what happens when you get the right balance. The balance. Right, we'll go to Lovren first. I've never ever played it without going to Lovren, and there's a few companions you get there, so I don't know if you could skip Lovren. I'm gonna see if you can. I'm not gonna do it if you can. Nah, you can't. You need to go. Good. Okay, here we go. But I wonder, I don't know, man. I mean, what if you did just keep walking through Lovren, then do all the stuff, then take the companions that seem to be important to the story? Hmm. I don't like to do it. I might do it in my own time and see, but we'll do it in this. We need the companions. Okay. We'll go. Wah. Logan! You are a dickhead! And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Where 
Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Uh, you should listen to your friend. We are not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Your toll collectors, then? Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Perhaps you should charge more, then. You want to pay more? Well, we'll happily accept donations. I'm just saying it's a rough business for such a pittance. I could be mistaken, but that sounded threatening. Sounded like a threat to me. Interesting, because you seem a bit outnumbered. You're outgunned. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Intimidate. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn low game put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dark Darkspawn fighting, fighting king killing ways. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. Persuade. You don't say. <laughs> he is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. An excellent donation. Thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Thanks a lot. You're a nice guy. I like you. You're a good guy. Let's have another conversation. Oh, uh, back, are you? I thought we settled things nice and amicably with you wardens. Uh, I want some questions answered. No, I don't. I've changed my mind. I'm cleaning you out. Nah, I want some questions answered. About what? We're just, you know, greeting travellers. Actually, it's more refugees here. Yes, fine. Life's hard all over. Nothing of concern to you Grey Wardens. You said something about Grey Wardens killing the King. Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. <clears throat> I've changed my mind. I'm cleaning you out. Let's collect that bounty then. I used to get mail stuff that I could say to him than that. Or maybe I was supposed to tell him to leave. I don't know. Fuck it, he's gotta die anyway. Take damage. Let's get in here. He's one of these bad boys. Aye, cripple him, kill him, cripple him. Aye, good. Take me die. This guy's really strong, isn't he? <laughs> I think you can put these down here, can you? Aye, I'll oh, burst right land. Just saves me from coming in inventory every time I use one. In fact, turn that dual striking off. Right, I've got a simple guy. Alright. 
Aye, oh, that's surrender. where you have the conversation. We're, we're just trying to get by. <laughs> I knew it happened at some point, I just couldn't remember. This show the operation is pathetic, I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Now you die. I saw you deserve. I'm not going down without a fight. Doesn't matter. I'm still going down. <laughs> See? Beheaded. That's how you take that shit, motherfucker. On it. Templar's not in it. There we go. Bandit. Right. Take that gun. Ah, you fucking asshole. <laughs> uh. What can we ditch? Oh, that chat shit, man. Fuck now. Hey, come on. I just ditched something. Uh. We'll destroy one of these pelts then. Take this. Uh, level up Alistair. What was I going to do for Alistair? We've got to give him two strength and one constitution. We'll upgrade his combat training. And then we'll upgrade to uh, shield balance. Right. i check around here. Health. I see you can, even though I had full inventor, I could still take a health. So I could. Right, I want these shield traps. Let's ditch something. Ditch all these daggers, actually, man. Jeez, oh. Including that one. Right, there we go. That's better. What's in here? More trap triggers. Fire arrows. Right, right here we go. We get a conversation here. Gotta save a button. You never know what can happen. PCs can be temperamental. And laptops. Laptop ammo. Fuck it. Here we go. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right, very creepy. Forget <laughs> I asked. You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, Anna. <laughs> the oh, banter between the two is it. brilliant. This so is it the is. part where we're I shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. <clears throat> we should try to use these treaties, Ashim. I agree. Have you looked at them? Yes, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. What do you think we should do, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Why are you leaving us up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. I don't need any directions. Then you have a plan. I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. 
Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Right, let's see how much time we've spent in this video. These conversations, they take up a lot of time. So we're on 20 minutes already. Um, right, cool. We'll keep going a wee bit longer. Uh-huh. Right. But was that Elfrit? You want that? You want that now? Give me... Give me Elfrit. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Just travelling through. Good. No room here for any more outsiders. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Who's in charge of the village? You could talk to the elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns. If he returns. Hey, I should go. Don't let me stop you. I won't. I won't let you do anything, prick. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Do you know about the bandits just outside the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely huh? keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere. Did I not say something about the bandits? What the fuck? Hey, right, hey, right. thanks for the warning. Best of luck wherever you might go. Ah, our conversation seemed pure irrelevant to what I thought I said. I must have clicked the one below it by mistake or something. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Hey. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I know it too. I so have the, limited supplies. Can I trust anybody? The people decide Except what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. <coughs> Can you beat that off, sister? You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. I guess it's time for you to go, innit? You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. Absolutely. Off you go. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. <laughs> a fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. You made me leave that don't come Serve play. that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? I hear you're making a killing. Me too. What? Help! Uh, someone? <laughs> Hey, where's my silvers? <laughs> I didn't need them. I just like, just wanted to kill him. I'm saying, okay, I finally stopped this approves. Why let's give gifts to people. I forgot I had them. Um, where are they again? Other items, plot items, other items. Other. There we go. Um, got dirty pantalons. That's not quite for any of these people. Gallister yeah, silver briefs. Let I think. Aye, yeah. Take that. Is that for me? That's for you. Really? Really? Wow! I'm... T wow! I know. I know, right? Ah! Give that back. 
because that's mm. getting given to Morrigan. So, oh no, maybe I'll get that one or huh? Aye. Nah, but he, you can take that back. There you go. Back to Uller. And we'll give her this tribal necklace. A fine gift. You have my thanks. You are welcome. Hey guys, I think we'll leave the video there for now because it's getting a wee bit on in time. But I'm not done playing yet, I'll just keep going. Um, it's just literally for uploading speed just to get it up quicker. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I still enjoyed playing it, of course, or I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. And welcome back if you come back. And I will talk to you all later on. I'm Jurassic Scuba, and bye bye.